Welcome to Dental and Ayurveda, a channel for basic Ayurvedic and basic dental sciences. Our today's topic is Dental Caries of BDS Syllabus. So in this video, we are going to talk about dental caries and it is the decay of heart and soft tissues of teeth. Now we are going to talk about its etiology, that means uske causes kya hai. So infection and decaying food, then xerostomia, that means dryness of mouth and also carbohydrates are also responsible for dental caries because due to its fermentation, acids are produced in mouth and now you can, and that acid is harmful which is going to cause dental caries. Then streptococcus mutants with other bacteria are going to colonize the organic buffering film on tooth surface to produce plague. So definitely dental plague is also there. Then enzymes produced by bacteria digest the organic matter of uh, dentine. And you can see that over time, you know, these dental caries, this infection can also extend. If, if proper treatment is not taken on time, then this dental caries, it can extend to dentin and it can cause cavitation to enamel and then it can also cause acute pulpitis. Pulpitis is basically swelling in pulp. Now, an infection... Now, this infection spreads in the whole pulp, then irreversible pulpitis may also occur and cause pulp necrosis. So, it is very important to take treatment on time for dental caries and very sharp pain can also occur and infection can reach in body through lymph and blood circulation. So, you can see that in through blood circulation, it can also reach your body. So, it is very important to maintain oral hygiene. Then let's talk about some of the treatments of dental caries. So first we use chemical agents for it. Then urea is the oldest chemical that is used. Then ammonium ions are also applied to the oral cavity. So why we use ammonium ions? Because they are going to decrease the number of acid producing pathogens. And they are going to dissolve the dental plaque as well. So in many you know uh, dentrifices uh, like urea, carbamide, Dibasic, ammonium phosphate, they all have ammonia. And also fluorides for treatment we use, fluorides also. So chances of caries is more. If we are going, if we are drinking fluoride deficient water, then the chances of caries is more. So we should, you know, make sure that the water that we drink, it should have adequate amount of fluoride as well. Then they, it, all, it acts in two ways. First is it is going to prevent the acid decalcification of tooth because it bacterial enzymes ko inhibit kar dega. And then by applying sodium fluoride internally or externally, hydroxyapatite of enamel, dentine or bone, it is changed to fluorapatite. So sodium fluoride se hai, hydroxyapatite jo hai, enamel, dentine or bone, ka, it is going to be changed to fluorapatite. And why we want to change it? Because fluorapatite is more resistant to lactic acid. And many fluoride supplements are there like tablets are there. And then you can see some drops or uh, lozenges are also there. Then you, one tablet or one ml of drop, you can say, or one lozenge is taken every day during the period of tooth development by nursing mothers and afterwards by children. For, you know, for the completion of calcification of third molars, it is taken. So you can see that this is also very important. The, some, this is the form of dosage. And then topically we also apply, if you have heard, then we topically also we can apply this uh, fluoride toothpaste are there and then gels or fluoride, uh, fluoride mouth rinses may also be used. You can use that as well. Now for if I talk about the therapeutic purpose, then 2% fluoride solution or gel or 8% stannous fluoride solution or gel you can use. Okay, the, you can see the percentage, the amount of that we use or the dentist use basically. So most popular form of fluoride therapy by dentist is acidulated phosphate fluoride.
and this we are going to repeat every six months. Whosoever is being treated by this, then every six months we are going to repeat the same. Then non-aqueous solutions in the form of fluoride var varnishes. You can see the two percent sodium fluoride uh, in alcoholic solution of natural resins. It is used and can be applied. Okay. Then you can see that sodium fluoride is a poisonous substance. So we, you know, it's about careful use. करना पड़ता है. You cannot use it in excess. An acute poisoning with fluoride can cause nausea, vomiting, and burning abdominal pain as well. So must be used very carefully. Then these patients are treated by giving a full glass of milk, and if necessary, given uh, artificial respiration. से भी हम उनको treat करते हैं. Then chlorophyll. So chlorophyll is basically it is present in many toothpaste or tooth powders. You can say. बेसिकली क्लोरोफिल जो है ये एक प्रोटेक्टिव एजेंट की तरह काम करता है देन वी हैव सम एंटीबायोटिक्स सो इट मे बी प्रेजेंट इन एंटीफेसिस एंड दे रिड्यूस्ड द दे आर गोइंग टू रिड्यूस द बैक्टीरियल काउंट ऑफ इन माउथ एंड पेनिसलिन बेसिट्रेसिन ऑल दिस क्लोरिन फेनिकॉल स्टेप्टोमाइसिन दे आर यूज देन हेक्सा क्लोरोफिन This is going to also reduce the oral bacterial population or incidence of dental caries. Then silver nitrate भी हम use करते हैं because before using it clean the debris. हम पूरा cleaning कर लेंगे and decaying material should be cleaned. Then it is applied on deciduous tooth. Thank you for watching. Do like, share, subscribe and comment. And this chapter के ready to read notes available हैं हमारे Instagram page पे. जिसका लिंक गिवन है डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स में